Hi friends, it's Dana here. I don't know about you, but our family is super excited about the Olympics in Tokyo this year. And to get ready, I've been prepping my daughter Evie for all the gymnastics fun that happens. I am particularly in love with watching gymnastics during the Olympics because when I was a kid, um, Team USA won gold. It was the year that Carrie Strong did her amazing vault that secured the gold medal and I used to pretend to be her by vaulting off the couch, um, which I wouldn't recommend because I sprained my wrist and it didn't feel so good. But I was super inspired and Evie is really excited to see Miss Simone Biles this year. So I'm going to read you a story about Simone and her life, which I think is so cool. And I absolutely love hearing about this gymnast. So here we go. Flying High, the story of gymnastics champion Simone Biles. It's by Michelle Meadows and illustrated by Ebony Glenn. Here we go. Simone is on the move. Watch her go, go, go. Climbing up, dangling down, swinging high and low. Yet four siblings struggle. They lack proper care. The future's uncertain. Fear hangs in the air. The children are placed in a foster home with warm meals to eat and a yard to roam. Soon grandpa arrives, a welcome surprise. Simone takes a trip with hope in her eyes. Climbing up shoulders, bouncing off walls, flipping on the couch, tumbling through the halls. Tip top trampoline, jump towards the sky. A little girl wants to fly, fly. Fly. As time carries on, the siblings must split an impossible choice to create the right fit. Down at the courthouse, adoption complete, a family forever, a promise so sweet. The girls get excited for an outdoor trip but rain's coming down, drip, drip, drip. They need a new plan to switch the destination. Their brother suggests the perfect location. High bars, low bars, leap across the beam. Simone copies their moves and launches a dream. Level by level, she's moving up fast, shooting off the vault like a rocket blast. After one special meet, Simone's family grows, now a puppy to love with a big, wet nose. From vault to bars, on floor and beam, she sets her sights on the national team. She comes so close in the 14th slot, missing the team by only one spot. Crushed by defeat, she loses her spark. What will it take to rise from the dark? Uplifted by love, pulled into the light, Simone rediscovers the magic of flight. Back in the gym, heavy rope to climb, harder routines, and more practice time. She makes sacrifices on the path ahead, giving up high school for homeschool instead. Determined to win, she prepares for the meet. Shake, shake, shimmy, tumble to the beat. She loops and swoops and hears the crowd roar. She whips and flips and takes a top score. Rising up through the ranks, there's more, there's more work to be done with her drive to compete. Gymnastics is fun. 
And what does she do when something goes wrong? She gets back up and finishes strong. Fearless and focused, she aims for her goal, improving consistency, gaining control. Her signature move shows phenomenal flair. Two breathtaking flips high up in the air. Simone is on a roll. Watch her go, go, go. She's the best in the world. Three years in a row. At the Olympics on Team USA, her proud family cheers final five on display. With fire inside that sets her apart, Simone captures her dream and America's heart. All right, friends, here's Simone's beautiful family. Look at that over there. I hope you really enjoyed this book. I know I did. And if you get a chance to get this book at the library or if you buy it from a bookstore, there's just some wonderful information about Simone. She truly is a special person. So I hope you get a chance to read all about her and I hope you get the chance to see her in Tokyo. So thanks so much friends for reading with me and go Team USA. Bye.